Welcome to our next instalment of our coaching clinic, how to pass like Virgil van Dijk. Before we go through your ball striking technique, is passing something you worked on from an early age? When I was younger, I definitely you know, tried to, to hit it out wide. I think especially from my position, you know, you try to hit the left wing or the right winger and sometimes try and you know, put the ball in behind the, the defence and uh, yeah, I always worked on it definitely. Before you receive the pass, are you almost scanning before to say, is the pass on? Yeah, before I receive the pass, I try to, to look, uh, look anywhere on the pitch where they, obviously the next pass could be, because it's not only the, the long balls that should be on, it should be the midfields that you know, they can play the ball through, or, or the striker that could be an option, or if everything is tight in front of you, then you play it obviously to the, to the fullback or the next centre back. So I try to scan as, as much as possible and find the right solution. I think the main thing, what I've learned back in the days as well, is that when I was younger, I tried to put so much power behind it. So thinking like you need to strike with a lot of power, but it's more, more technique and, you know, if you hit it clean, it's a bit like golf, you know, you don't need to hit it too hard to, you know, let the ball come too far. And you need to get, if you obviously need to get used to it, you need to practice, but yeah, that's the move. Yeah, it, it looks effortless when you do it. It's more the timing rather than the power, yeah, like you say. It is. As you're hitting those long passes, it really looks like a long leg technique. So it's something where your you standing foot isn't too close to the ball. It's allowing you, you, your leg to come through. It makes it look yeah. effortless. Sometimes I, I decide when I strike the ball where I want it. So sometimes I see, when I get the ball, I see the fullback already running, for example, to Mo. And I think in last minute might be an option to play to Trent. So then I can hit it sort of with the more laces outside the foot, so the ball turns away from the fullback. And Cuts across it a little yeah. bit. Our next clip is where you've driven it along the floor. Obviously, when you lean backwards, I think the ball goes, it goes higher. And, and obviously, when you lean a little bit more for, forwards, then the ball stays lower. And um, when you have, obviously, the spaces there to pass, and you can pass it over the ground. Then, I think that's always a good But less thing. risk to keep it on the floor. It's less risk and I think the ball is getting quicker there as well. So yeah. uh, If you get it out there quicker, you know, you're a defender yourself. As you're shuffling across as a unit, if you get that ball out to him a little bit quicker, that might just create him a little bit more chance, a little bit more of a space to get at as defender 1v1. Yeah, no, definitely. What I said, for example, the, the situation that, you know, would be realistic is that, for example, everyone is coming across defensively and play the ball back to me and we switch it quick quick to the other side, that means that obviously our mows or our wingers have more time to go 1v1 or you know to, to cross it easier instead of you know being under pressure. So yeah that's definitely the benefit. You need to have multiple options. This is obviously one of many options that I hopefully have in, in games and it's a good a good option because those those players on that side are pretty dangerous. So if the option is there, if the opportunity is there we definitely look for those 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 situations on the wing and, and behind the defense because we have so much speed as well.